to my review of the Belling FHD 800, which is an 8kg heat pump dumble dryer. Uh, Belling are synonymous with cookers, but no cooking today. Just Laundry, as this 100 years plus British company has uh, made of them appliances for the home. Um, my last tumble dryer was a condenser dryer and that actually went pop and with us being a family of six a tumble dryer for me is a must have appliance uh, it's one of my luxu luxuries after my car um, and AO came to the rescue and this was quickly ordered and delivered swiftly by the guys Tumble dryer doesn't really need much fitting, it just comes with an insulated plug and you get a brochure, your manual and the obligatory sticker which I never put on any of my appliances but it particularly points out that this is an A++ rated appliance which I didn't actually know you could get tumble dryers that were A++, um, even A rated but that's because heat pump technology is a, a new thing on the market and it makes uh, tumble dryers very efficient. Um, just check you, your brochure's okay. Mine actually starts off telling me about a washing machine, but the rest of it's fine. If for some reason you have a wrong brochure, misprint, or you don't even have the brochure in it, you can actually get this online from the... Um, from the manufacturer, it's just online and you can download it or just look at it. It does have lots of little information for you to peruse. Um, heat pump technology actually it um, keeps the heat, the energy from the heat in the tumble dryer so that actually stops it getting all hot and with my old style tumble dryer, the condenser which I think was a rated or maybe D, not, they're not very good. That actually used to make my kitchen all sweaty and steamy and not very nice. Um, but this actually gives off less heat than my laptop. Now if I will show you why I love tumble dryers so much, here is an example of a tumble dried face cloth all nice and fluffy and very soft and my not tumble dry this was dried on my radiator and you can see how it's all closed in and tight and it's not fluffy and it's really nasty I also cloth bum baby number four all my children have been cloth bummed and that was dried on the radiator quite stiff as a board not very nice for baby's bum uh, whereas this one, it's all nice and fluffy and malleable and that's much better. Especially with the storms and bad weather we've been having. It's very nice to be able to dry washing inside. Um, heat pump dryers do take longer to dry, but that's because they're more energy efficient. Now if I start off by showing you, um, as with a condenser dryer, you have a water collection point which simply pops out and you can empty it into your sink, obviously for the purposes of the tape, I've done it into my bowl for you. If I just bring the camera in closely. I can show you down here where, let's pop that there, just push these down and you have these little clips and this is your heat exchange part. Now between, si uh, between loads if you just check this for lint you need to remove it and inside here you simply brush it away with your hand, it'll stick to itself or use a soft cloth if you need to and then that just simply locks back into place 
and clip it in. Any excess water just wipe off with a cloth. If you can also see on the camera, this plastic door, you can actually see my washing inside. The door just pulls, it's not clipped or anything. And if I switch the it on, let me you can see ah yeah it's just come up. Have a nice internal light which is fab. So you can that helps you see through the door as well. It's nice being able to see your washing. Not that I sit and watch washing, but <laughs> this is your lint filter. Now if I just carefully pop that, just nice big filter, unclip it and remove your lint and you do this after every load if you've got anything particularly fluffy like flannel sheets then I would probably do this part way through the cycle as well and just I like to use the lint just to rub inside and wipe away any spare lint because lint will stick to itself so really easy to get rid of okay Right, if I just shut this, really simple. Oh, that's your air vent as well, so make sure you always keep that clear. Right, so if I just go through the control panel for you, sorry, about a bit wibbly wobbly then. Right, okay, so does what it says it does, so it's the on off, and you have a nice digital display on this machine. Okay, and we have the start and pause button. On the left hand side we have LEDs which light up and show you where you are through the program. We have a time delay. I don't actually use that because I only use a machine when I'm in and I don't have the, I think is it Economy 7? Some people have electric which is cheaper at different times so that would be of use to you if you do have different rates throughout the day. Time button, I will go through that in a second. Uh, we have anti-crease if you want a gentler program, uh, just so that your garments don't crease. Signal, if I press that, makes that little doo doo. And it will beep at the end of your program to alert you that it's finished. And you can just take that off if you don't want that to happen. Anti-crease, it lights up to say you've done the anti-crease. Now here it's a really straightforward program. So you have time at the top. We have delicate some walls, jeans, refresh. You've got synthetics to the left. Cottons to the right, if it's a mixed load, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> right, and obviously all these, if you can see, the different times, a bit longer, delicates, wool just for eight minutes. Mixed is an hour and thirty, and it says remain here, so whatever's in the clock, is your it counts down to you finish. And the same for so jeans. I would always recommend you spin your washing no matter how you drain it on a high spin, the high spin you can on your washing machine so that you then get to, your items don't take too long to dry. Obviously cottons take longer but with this machine it also weighs and adjusts the time to your load and throughout the time it may start on say like three hours but say half an hour through the cycle it will have weighed and checked for the moisture content in your garments your fabrics and it will adjust that so it doesn't mean it necessarily will be three hours it could be a lot less uh, but the clock will change and it'll show you and also here it tells you will light up at the different parts of the program. If you just want to choose your own, move the dial to time. It starts off in 10 minutes and you can just up your amount of time. 
Say you've done a cycle, you just want to do it for an extra 10 minutes. Um, and also, if I just knock that off and put it to 10 minutes, I'm going to show you, it does have a child lock, which locks the buttons. If I show you, you have to start the cycle. There you go, you can see my uh, laundry moving around. Right, so to activate the child lock, you need to press these two buttons, the anti-crease and signal together, for two seconds, and you see it light up. So then I can start pressing buttons, nothing happens. The dial you can turn with the child lock on or off and it doesn't change the clock. But you can still open the door, but again, nothing happens when you, ch when you touch the buttons. Still nothing happens because child lock is still on. The only thing I've noticed is you can turn the machine off, turn it on again. Oh no, actually it's worked this time. <laughs> Let me turn that off again. First time I tried this, it um, the child lock didn't stay on. Let's see, ah, see I can start doing things to it now. Oh, because the delay's on. But yeah. So sometimes a child lock doesn't act, it it's okay, it protects these buttons, but if someone turns it on and off, they can uh, restart it. Okay. Right, so just to recap, it's a belling. It's heat pump tumble dryer, which is the latest technology for tumble dryers. It's 8 kilogram load. I don't actually weigh my washing, I don't know who does, but <laughs> I have a 10 kilogram washing machine and 8 kilograms for a tumble dryer. You can see it, it has a vast quantity in here, but you don't want to overload your tumble dryer because the less it's in it, um, the better the drying function for any tumble dryer, I'd say, in my opinion. And Belling, for me, it's a trusted brand. Um, like I said, you, I always think of ovens. I was brought up with a baby Belling, um, and it's nice to see that they've branched out into other appliances. And it's I think also it's an attractive appliance. My kids think it's fantastic, especially the black door and being able to see the washing go around. They say it's like a space machine. Um, with that in mind, do not. Um, Event like with any appliance, don't let your, your children around them unattended. We do have the child lock that does help protect some of the buttons. It's really, really simple to use and no steamy kitchen, which is a huge bonus for me because I can't stand when all the windows steam up and go manky. And it's uh, nice that the sides don't overheat. Um, and all around great tumble dryer and it's coming very handy and right at the at the best moment for us uh, because I must do several loads of towels a week especially as we've just had um, a holiday from schools and we've done a lot of swimming so that's been a lot of towels with my four children um, and that's all folks thank you you can't beat a belling. <laughs>